Hello, this is Sheila from Peacock Media, feeling totally uncomfortable uh, with using YouTube, but this is where people find us, so here we go. I'd like to introduce you to Website Watchman and show you the clever tricks that it does. It's an app that we developed last year and released at the start of this year, 2019. It was called Watchman when it was first released, but we've had to update that slightly because of some other software called Watchman. But Website Watchman is a better description of what it does. So if your site isn't already set up, then all it takes is the press of the Add Site button and enter the starting URL, which is the home page address if you're scanning an entire site. It'll be the URL of some page if you want to watch a single page and you can scan part of a site too. We could kick this off manually now, which is an option. Another option is to set up a schedule and this particular site has been scheduled to scan at 1.30 every day. If this were the first time for this site, then it would now be simply building a web archive. As it has scanned this site before, then it'll be comparing all of the files it finds, HTML, CSS, JS, images, documents, what have you, with the version in the web archive and adding to that archive anything that's changed. At the end of the scan, we can see some stats. We get an alert too if anything has changed and there are some options for the alert. It can interrupt you with an old style alert, do it quietly with notification center or be totally silent and let you check back later. That alert may be the reason that you're using the app in the first place. You may want to know as soon as anything changes on a page or a website that you own or that you don't own. So after the scan, we can see the changes that it's found this time, if any. And of course, we have access to the changes found during previous scans. We can drill into this and actually see comparisons of the text or source code with the actual changes highlighted. Hi highlight? Hi highlight? So that's all fairly dry. Uh, let's see something more exciting. I spoke about the web archive earlier. It's a multi-dimensional archive in that it can store each page of the site with all of the source files as they stood at that point uh, and it can store changes through time as well. And here we have the viewer that lets us browse that archive. This of course is the Peacock Media homepage, as wonderful as it looks today or a few moments ago when the scan was performed. Once again, this isn't a screenshot. If it was, you would only find out about visible changes to the page and not changes to the underlying source or links or linked files, style sheets, documents or whatever. We can go back in time. In this case, as far back as last Black Friday, which is obviously when I set up this configuration and scheduled a daily scan. I can see the page as it looked then and every change since. I'm a teeny bit biased, uh, but I really wouldn't be without this now any more than I'd be without Time Machine running on my computer. This isn't a service. Like all of our apps, this is a desktop Mac app that you buy for a one-off price. Your data is stored on your own computer and belongs entirely to you. If you have a Mac, you can download this now, link in the description. Uh, it'll give you a free trial with no obligation, no sign up, no card number or any of that sneakiness uh, until you decide to buy. Thank you for watching this far. And Yvonne says, keep an archive of your website. And she's very wise.